Hello. So today we're gonna talk about uh, some modeling basics. First, I will just uh, just show you some basic techniques, and then we are gonna see some parts of the this BMW. So let's start with the plane. Make editable. I just made the width and the height segments to one one. That's uh, every time I start with that, I scale it down. So let's see. Let's say we want to create something like this. I hold control and drag to get that control and drag. I hold control and uh, select edge and drag. And uh, one other tool is that if you want to select a loop, you can double click and uh, in the move tool, you can double click and that selects it for you. So let's say so we drop a subdivision surface and we put the plane in there. So there it is. Let's make it a bit higher. Yeah. So this is like soft edge. If if we want to make um, one edge hard, so the idea is that you you add a, a loop. You add the line close to the, the line that you want to make hard. So basically, two two edges close together means hard edge. Let's uh, add a loop over here. There, so that became hard. Uh, If you have like um, transition between uh, hard part and soft part, you can like um, let's say we have over here this looks like this. So this is everything soft. So if we want to make like this part hard and then this part soft, we can instead of adding a loop, you can use the pre-roll tool. Like select these two or the whole thing. Use pre-roll, and you can click and drag to get that sharp edge over there. Now, if you have, if you want to get soft edge here, you can separate these edges like this. That becomes soft, as you as you can see. You can move it a bit to get that curvature back. And there, these these lines. I don't know if you can see them, but I guess they are because of angle limits. Yeah. To get rid of an edge that is between us in the geometry, you can click and you dissolve. Because if you remove it, you're gonna remove the whole thing. So, let's create something. Again, I'm just holding control and dragging. For to make like a curve over here, you only need one, one edge, and then come to another edge. Now, if you drop that in, already you already have uh, the curve. But if you want more definition, you can add another line to define it like 
uh, ML is shortcut for loop, but I always do use it. ML. So more edges give you more definition, but basically one edge under subdivision surface gives you what gives you the, the curve. So let's get this out. So I select the whole the whole edge, the loop, and then I go to snap and uh, pick this, get it over here to have everything aligned. Let's optimize the whole thing and see what we got. Yeah, that worked. So first, let's see. Let's say we don't want these soft edges over here. We add a line to define that, as you can see, and then this one too. Is it there? Yeah. Now we said we want. Let's make this one hard. This one and this one. So I'm just gonna go ML for loop and add lines over here. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's good. This must be hard too, so I'm gonna add a line over here. Now we can get rid of this by adding a line over here. There. And we can like instead of using loops, we can add uh, custom lines. Uh, for example, I want to get this more defined, so I want this loop over here to be sharp. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a line over here. Yeah, so now for this one, we want it to be curved like we can have only this part sharp and then the curve, the, the bottom thing is curved. So we can add line as you can see, the loop is going all around. I don't want that, I want it to go around here, so I'm gonna add it manually. And well, these points. Yeah, that might get that there. Maybe we can add a, one over here too. So yeah. Now let's say this one is good. This one we want it to be curved, but this one over here we want it to be sharp so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a line over here and the line over here and we should 
get them somewhere so that we don't have bad topology. We can get them over here. This will not cause any problems. And put that there. First, I get I get a, an idea about what topology is gonna look like. So, so guys, you get the point. So I think I'm just gonna leave it here. Thanks for watching. Sorry for my English. I'm just gonna make this fast forward a little bit to model this thing, and then I see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.